Today we head to Page, Arizona, where we check out a few spots before heading to our final destination. We explore around Lake Powell to see the water levels, launch the drone at Lone Rock Beach, before reaching our final destination of Stud Horse Point and a campsite with an epic view. We are currently headed up 89A going towards Page, Arizona. And our ultimate destination on this adventure is called Stud Horse Point, a fantastic location filled with balanced rocks and hoodoos and stunning views of the surrounding kind of canyon land slash Lake Powell area. And I'm, I'm thrilled about checking this place out. So um, we got a few more miles to get to Page, Arizona. And along the way, I wanna stop and check out the water levels of Lake Powell and maybe even check out Lone Rock just to see what it's looking like because um, every time I come through here, it's something that I, I think about because uh, I live you know, from water that's harvested from the Colorado River and this is one of our big reservoirs. So it would be interesting to see kind of where that's at. So let's hit the road and So we're at the first stop today. You can see the water line behind me here is probably a good 100 feet from this top white portion down to the actual water. That's pretty low, but I think that's actually a improvement from about two years ago when I last visited, um, which is fantastic. Uh, the only downside to this particular location is I am very close to the dam itself, which means no drones, uh, no flying of drones, no cool footage uh, from this location, but our next stop will be Lone Rock so we can see how, uh, how well that water is rising further up the lake. Because last time I was at Lone Rock, it was basically not Lone Rock, it was a, an entire sandy beach all around it. So it'd be cool to see what that looks like and we'll definitely get the drone up in the air once we get out there. So I had to stop here at the Wa-Weep Overlook just to really see how much the water has fallen here. And it's still so beautiful. The orange and yellow rocks kind of, you know, juxtaposed with the blue sky and that blue, blue water. Incredible. But because of this location, I have the telephoto on at about 100 to 150 millimeters, really just kind of zooming in on this landscape. And I want to get a picture of this distant mountain. There's a nice little cloud that's uh, kind of hovering just above it on the left side. And then a really interesting kind of butte or tower, if you will, off to the right side. And then just kind of layering in the yellow and orange of the sand and stone with the water and more and just kind of layering the photo um, to create this kind of really interesting photo. So here's that final image now. So cool. Yeah, really cool to see all that fresh water in the area and uh, it's just fantastic to see. So now it's time to get to our main attraction today, which is Stud Horse Point. I'm actually on the road headed there now. Um, 
Road so far has been pretty decent. Uh, haven't really needed anything in terms of high clearance uh, or 4x4 as of yet, but I'm only a mile or two in. And ultimately, I don't have a specific location for this just yet. So as I get to this location, I'll put a map together and let you know whether you need high clearance or not to get here. Let's hit the road and uh, do some exploring around this area. It's actually really cool countryside. Um, very different than the surrounding lakeside. So going to be fun. It's like a weird bunker in the side of the hill. Lots of graffiti. Wu-Tang. Maybe a Yoda or I don't know. Weird. If anybody knows what this is, put a comment below. This is real interesting. But just off to the west here, you'll see, look at this interesting landscape and these beautiful distant mountains. Incredible. I think we're going up here somewhere. Just after crossing that gate, I think this is where I'm gonna recommend a high clearance four x four vehicle to make your way back in here. But from here, we're actually very close, probably within a half of a mile of our final destination. A little bit sandy. Still haven't had to put on the four by yet, but maybe we'll need to. stretch of uh, some off-roading. I tell you what, I don't know if you heard, but uh, this Jeep takes me anywhere. It's pretty incredible, but I think we're getting close. wasn't that much farther down the road. Look at these incredible balanced rocks back here. Incredible. This was a fantastic find. I'm really looking forward to exploring this area. This is actually a pretty good vantage point right now. I'm curious how this place will kind of light up for sunrise and sunset. We're going to have both of those opportunities on this particular trip. So I'm going to do some looking around. Right now, I'm kind of on a, a, a ledge, if you will, but I wonder if getting down lower here will make those amazing little hoodoos stand out even more as they power and tower over the horizon. Fantastic. Let's look around here and see what else is going on because we only have a little bit of time until sunset tonight. So let's find some cool compositions and be ready when the magic hour comes. So this seems to be the tallest of all of the rock formations here, and it is massive. I'm hoping that by standing next to this massive hoodoo, you can see the scale. It's probably 30 feet, maybe 35 feet tall. Impressive. I think this is what we could call the stud of Stud Horse Point because it's so, so impressive. What's even more impressive too, though, is the top rock for these hoodoos is quite slanted, meaning that it's a matter of time before gravity takes over and these rocks slide off the top and into the valley and the gully below. So impressive. Wow. 
It has been so much fun just walking around this place, basically to myself. Um, I know a lot of people talk about having that sense of solitude out here in the wilderness, and I definitely appreciate that too, but I don't necessarily mind other people being in locations like this if they're being respectful. So today has been a real treat to just kind of soak up the nature and really just take my time and find some really interesting photos, which I'm at the kind of first composition that I found that I'm really, really happy with. And it's only getting better as the sun gets lower in the sky. Just behind me here is a massive hoodoo that's got this beautiful side light coming in, illuminating the backside of that top rock, and then the entire side of the kind of um, the lower portion all lit up. And then just in front of that, this foreground element is a bunch of kind of layers down below where water would probably flow if it was raining or something like that. But it makes for this incredible texture, almost like a, a bowl in the foreground leading into that massive hoodoo that's just lit up. Everything else is basically in shade or shadow except for that illuminated hoodoo. So uh, I'm really, really digging this image and I think it's gonna work out incredible. Now, I have fired off a couple of test shots just to get my composition right within the camera, but there is a little bit of lingering light you can see hopefully down here at the base that I'm waiting for the sun to go a little lower in the sky and that will disappear hopefully and make for a very striking final result. Check this image out now. Look at this interesting rock formation. Doesn't it have a caricature quality or somebody's face with a fancy hat? Maybe a large nose to go with it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tonight we're having hamburgers. Let's get cooking. Not a bad place for a couple of hamburgers. I guess maybe this is more like a patty melt, but just the same. Mmm. What a beautiful morning it is. Last night, no clouds in the sky, very, very calm in terms of color in the sky. So this morning, seeing these beautiful clouds and this beautiful sunrise is just perfect, perfect, perfect. I've got this fantastic composition set up just in front of me here. There's these beautiful, you know, orange and yellow rocks that have this like kind of cracked feature to them with these nice leading lines lots of triangle shapes which i love for a foreground element very geometric and then just behind that is that big butte or tower in the valley down there below and it is just so impressive i've got the wide angle lens on at 14 millimeters really emphasizing on this foreground element and then having that uh distant <laughs> excuse me that distant tower uh, as the main background element. And then there's a couple of little subtleties within the image that I think really make it pop, which the first of which is just to the left side, you'll see Lone Rock kind of mirroring or echoing this big tower in front of us. So that's really cool. And then also just off on the left side, there is the road. That makes for a fantastic image to kind of give scale to this entire, to this entire thing. So Let's go ahead and fire this image off while the color is still good in the sky. And 
Uh, I'm real happy with this, just looking at the back of the camera already. Another unique location here, Stud Horse Point. A, a fantastic spot. I hope you have put this on your bucket list because it has incredible landscape photography opportunity and just general outdoor exploring. I had a great time here, especially getting to camp out very nearby on BLM land. I mean, a hundred yards from where I'm standing, I camped out with spectacular views. Well, I'm going to continue to explore around here this morning, but I hope that you have found some value in this video. If you're interested in more amazing locations with some photography tips and tricks, check out this video here. I think you'll really like it. Otherwise, I'll see you on that next adventure.